Gormagat Concordia, Tishak Bawalyam, Dard, a Jaro and Scam, Gateway of the Hull, Tachachalar, Don Sailogus, Awahar, Gor Class Ian Scam Shaw, the Spalaki can picture my a Harinch, Ghanaian Mass or B, Tash Pianta, Don Saranig, Tishak last year your government introduced the Gateway Scheme. Designed to make participants work 19 and a half hours for a top up of 20 euros on their job seekers allowance. Now, this scheme forces unemployed people to carry out work for local authorities with threats of cuts or suspension of welfare payments, even though it pays only a fraction of the minimum wage. It involves no training or education has no prospect of long-term unemployment for those forced to take part. And local authorities have been given an allocation of 3,000 places to fill. But surely, Taoiseach, if there are 3,000 positions to be filled, those citizens working in these positions deserve to have proper terms and conditions. Fine Gael don't get that. I'm sure Labour must have brought that to your attention. And Gateway also follows on the heels of, of uh, Jobs Bridge, which is a, a failed government initiative, which also exploits welfare recipients with little hope of uh, meaningful long-term employment or skills training. Now, a government TD told RTE last night that Gateway was teaching unemployed people what it's like to get up in the morning. Now, Taoiseach, do you accept this is adding insult to injury that it reflects an establishment view that the real problem isn't unemployment but the unemployed and will you end this exploitation of long-term unemployed citizens by scrapping the gateway scheme thank you no is the answer to that question um, i think from you're the you're the leader of your party and uh, obviously your party has a very different view. Seems to me, uh, Deputy Adams, uh, as if your party doesn't want to pay for anything, uh, doesn't want to have any charge imposed for any service, wants nothing to do uh, with the European scene, uh, carry on, uh, everything free in life, everything wonderful from a Sinn Féin perspective. Unfortunately, that's not reality. Now, uh, the problem with young people walking into your office or to anybody else's office, uh, when they say, look, I'm looking for a job, I'm qualified. Uh, and the old chicken and egg applies here. You can't have a job without experience. You can't get experience unless you have a job. Uh, and I have to say uh, that your, your, um, your view of the job bridge scheme is not what young people have. Yes, there have been a few cases that have come across myself where things might have been better. But I, I have so many um, pieces of correspondence from young people who are qualified, who are taken on by firm after firm, um, and who have, who have been more than able to measure up to the challenges that were needed there. And the evidence, if evidence is needed, uh, from this scheme was 66% of them find permanent employment or leave to set up their own firms. Uh, speaks for the value of the training, of their own commitment and of their capacity to rise to that challenge. So I don't accept at all your version of, uh, of uh, failure uh, from the job bridge perspective. This is a scheme from a European point of view that is very successful and is being looked at by other countries as a, a model to be replicated. <coughs> the gateway scheme, Deputy Adams, does not force people into employment. It's, it's very, when you sit down and talk to people who have unfortunately been long term unemployed, it's a rut that's very hard to get out of. And many of these people do want to make a contribution. I've seen them on the various schemes from Thoos right through to Gateway. And there are opportunities, uh, and we start with, this, with, a, with a scheme for 3,000, with local authorities, where for a particular sector, particular sector uh, of those who are long-term unemployed, who having been interviewed by the uh, intro people now in the, in the new service, uh, are offered to help them get back to, the, uh, to, to being motivated to want to go to work. 
and there are so many opportunities out there for 19 and a half hours in addition to their uh, to their social welfare payment and I've spoken to some of them Deputy Adams not them all by any means but people do like to be able to make a contribution people do like to be able to get out of the rut of long-term unemployment and whether they can make a contribution as a person both in their own right uh, and to their community and there are so many uh, so many things at community level uh, where a visible change can be made and where these people want and can be seen to making a uh, contribution it's not a case of them being forced out. It is a particular sector of the long-term unemployed where this opportunity is provided. You. Deputy Adams. Adams. I, I think you've highlighted, you know, probably unintentionally, what people don't like about this government. You see, first of all, this is forced labour. It is compulsory. There is no training budget. There's no education budget. The folks who are forced onto this scheme get paid 20 euro, which is taxable. So you may find a situation where a man or a woman with three or four children end up with less money than before they were involved in this uh, scheme. There's no transport allowance. Compare that then, you see. Compare this sector of citizens with the sector of citizens that you knock around with. Also, you talk about uh, you know, jobs. You have axed. 3,000 jobs from local authorities. You have placed a public service recruitment embargo on local authorities. Now, again, again, compare this with 500 million euro taken from the local authorities by your government, given over to uh, Eshka Erin to spend on consultants, to spend on water meters without any sustainable uh, jobs. When what is needed, and anybody who you know, lives in the real world knows that what is needed is proper investment and long-term jobs, sustainable jobs with good terms and conditions. So the reality is that Gateway has been used to undermine real jobs on local authorities. So I do think that you have to acknowledge that this is a scam. It's there to massage unemployment uh, figures. It's Thank a you. race to the bottom. You know, Pat, Pat, uh, what's Pat's name again? Rabbit. Pat Rabbit. Sorry, Minister. You know. <laughs> Minister the Rabbit, leader. please. Uh, the leader. Uh, uh, Deputy, I'm sorry, Deputy. Deputy, Deputy, Deputy I'm what, sorry. This is what Labour has, Deputy, has, Deputy. has descended to. Cheap Labour, forced uh, Labour. So, Taoiseach, Taoiseach, you haven't distanced yourself from the remarks Thank you, that Deputy. this is about teaching the unemployed how to get out of bed in the morning. Thank you. you. Know, citizens want and deserve the dignity of a proper job with proper terms and conditions. Your government is not investing in that, and this, this gateway scheme is doomed to failure, and it should be discontinued. Uh, I, think it's a, I think it's a long term. Uh, long-established principle that when you speak about a minister, you say minister or minister of state or deputy. I'd like that to be retained in this house. Thank you. Thank you. Um, if you we, uh, we have ushers around the house. If you need to be reminded of a person's name, I'm sure the ushers will help you. Well, uh, I, I, wasn't actually, uh, I wasn't actually aware until Deputy Adams uh, made the comment that I think you said 500 million was paid to consultants by Irish Water. Um, not the first time, not the first time you were out in a few of the figures. Uh, but I, 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 I'm quite sure that even Deputy Adams, despite the fact that you don't want any charge for any service in the country, would agree that that there is movement here when the uh, live register falls below 400,000 for the first time since 2009 and that we're now bel below the euro average for unemployment and hopefully we can continue to go in the right direction. We know about you, Deputy Osnothig. Thank you. Uh, I'm quite sure that Deputy Adams is aware that 61,000 new jobs were created in the last uh, 12 months. 
uh, and the two thirds of those were in firms of less than five years old. Shh. I'm quite sure that Deputy please, Adams please, please, please. Uh, supports the fact that the education system in this country has one of the highest participation rates uh, in the OECD countries and that the, that the, um, the young people emerging from that education system are well able uh, to meet a whole range of challenges. But I'm quite sure as well, I'm quite sure as well uh, that when Deputy Adams goes up to uh, his own constituency and talks to people who have been long-term unemployed or those who have been shorter-term unemployed and are now in the world of work will see uh, and will, will, will tell him <coughs> about the personal dignity and the contribution <coughs> that they can make. I don't accept at all that we should be static with what we were left with when we, when we were elected to office three years ago. Thank you. We were losing 7,000 jobs a month, Deputy Adams. This scheme is called Gateway. It's for 3,000 participants. They are selected because of the fact that they've been long-term unemployed in their localities. They want to make a contribution. They are people who say, what can I do to help here? I have every day in communities all over the country where people who are employed and unemployed work in the benefit of their communities. Here's a situation where people who are unemployed have been unemployed for a long time, have been spoken to by the intro people and who want to make this contribution and who are quite prepared to assist local authorities and local communities by giving 19 and a half hours a week in, in, addition, in, addition, to their, in addition to their unemployment. What I want to do is create situations where more and more people can find work that's, uh, that's uh, a, an opportunity for them uh, to develop their careers. You yourself were unemployed for a very long number of years and yet you seem to appear in locations around the world just like that. 